All right, so here I'm about to show you my routine on uh, shaving my, my head here uh, with a uh, Merker barber pole. It's the heavy duty one. Um, I'll come back with the actual model of it, but it's a German razor, really good. Um, today I'm gonna be using um, a Bic Chrome plastic, or a uh, Bic Chrome Platinum uh, blade. And I actually prefer the feather for my skin and uh, the uh, how close it gets to the actual shave. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start here uh, by loading up my, my razor. All right, now the razor's set in. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start preparing up the lather. My shave bowl, shave soap. Some hot water going. I'm just gonna set my uh, my razor brush in here before they get warm. So the bristles soften up a little bit. Uh, while that's soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prepare my scalp, which I'm just gonna put some hot water on it, soften up my hair follicles so I get a closer, faster shape. So this has been here for about 30 seconds to a minute. It's pretty good. I'm gonna dump out the excess water. Leave just a little bit in the bristle brush. And I'm gonna open up my safe soap, uh, safe soap, shave soap. And just uh, put the brush inside there. Do a couple swirls. Make sure you get a lot up on your brush. And then uh, once you get this step really good, you can go ahead and uh, set it inside your, your bowl and uh, do some swirl motions right here like this. As you see, it gets uh, the lather uh, up pretty quick and gets a nice good build, build on it. So I'll show you here in one second. A lot of us, we use all different types of soap. This soap I got, it's pretty inexpensive, it's from Kroger's. I do plan on venturing out and getting a little bit better, uh, better smelling soaps, but this one's all right. All right, so as you see, it does a pretty good foam lather. <clears throat> and I'm gonna start uh, putting on my head. And um, just to go back a little bit, on my history on shaving. I've been shaving my head bald for over 10 years and I've always used the disposable inexpensive razors. I think I used a Schick Extreme 3. It did pretty good. It got a close shave and it seemed to last a few days and really didn't hurt my head. And then I uh, was just doing some online YouTubing and come across some people using straight razors and I thought to myself, well you know what? Maybe I should try to do something like that, but then I got thinking of the skill set of it and the safety factor of it and the honing and all that. And maybe I'll venture into it, but then I come across this safety razor, which is what I have here on my Merker. And um, just going back to the history of the shave and everything else um, and the convenience of it, it's more for me. So I uh, went ahead and decided to uh, buy the Merker. And uh, when I got here, it came with about a few uh, assortment of razors from around the country. And so far, what I've found to be best on my head for the sharpness of the razor, closest the closeness of the shave is the the feather. Um, it does pretty good. And what I like about the safety razor is um, 
so you don't get skin bumps and irritation and things like that. It is a double-sided razor, so as you do shave your head, uh, which I do, I'll, I'll shave my entire head with one side of the razor and then uh, go ahead and rinse everything off, lather everything up again, which here I'll show you in a second, flip the razor over and do one more pass through. And uh, that seems to, you know, work pretty well. Um, I've actually let my hair grow out for five days just so I can do this video and show you guys how, how good the, the safety razor is and uh, just the technique I use, which I know you guys out there probably use different techniques, but uh, feel free to give me any pointers if I've left out anything. Um, and again, I'm shaving here in our RV. So uh, it's just different because you can't just leave your running uh, water on constantly. You know, everything is, um, uh, you just have to use things at a minimal versus, you know, a normal house or an apartment. All right, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> as I've shown before, i got my razor all ready. I'm just gonna do a quick pass through on the hot water and get it nice and warm. And what I like about the safety razor guys versus the disposable cartridge ones is you have to shave your head um, probably with every couple of days. That way your, your whisker or your hair isn't uh, exceeding the length of the actual blade causing it to clog up or or not do a, a clean pass through um, but what I've noticed on this is I can let my hair grow maybe an inch if I wanted to have no problem with a single bladed razor so I'll go ahead and demonstrate on uh, my path uh, pass through here I'm going to start on my ear so I can go over to my sideburn, make sure I get that. And what's nice too is like if you do get a chunk of hair, um, you can open it up just a little bit for the, the head to dismantle a little bit from the blade, run some water up underneath where the hair is supposed to come out. It'll empty it right out, no banging, no tossing, no wanting to throw your razor in the trash because the hair's not coming out. So I just found the safety razor is pretty convenient on your shave. Um, we'll go ahead and start on the top part of the sideburn here. And again, this razor that I'm using is the Bic Platinum. And it was out of the assortment pack that I bought. And out of the Derby, the Ostra, the Persona, you know, what is it, Dorco, and uh, what is it, Super Platinum, and Merker. I think it was Merker. Um, I'd say the Merker's second place, and then Derby, and then the Bic. I'm probably not going to use the rest of these because they, they hurt my skin. All right. Some of you guys go down. Some of you guys go across the grain of the hair. I actually go um, across the grain. I seem to get a, a closer shape. So as you see, I'm just going to do one quick straight pass through, and the hair comes right off. And like I said, my hair has grown out a week. And you cannot do that with a disposable cartridge razor. No banging as you heard, just simply rinse it out, all the hair is gone. So just to make sure I'm keeping using the same side, that way I can make sure I use the, the brand new side on my second pass through when I, I completely shave my head. And I just hold the uh, skin back just a little bit just so uh, there's no pulling or tugging. Because, uh, again, it's a safety razor, but I have been nicked a few times. But now, my skill set on it is pretty good and I know how to use my own razor. It's heavy, well-balanced. Um, I mean, if you try the, the, the Merker, it's, it's uh, really good. You'll find it pretty pleasing on doing good shave. See, that's can't get better than that, guys. And again, like I was saying before, I let my hair grow out five days, so I'm just turning on the water just to rinse out the hair. Here on this next pass through, I'll show you how much hair it does collect in it. It's actually quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side, and then I'll show you.
So, I'll show you real quick. That right there is a lot of hair. Let's see if I can show you. I mean, it's full. That whole head is full. So instead of banging your razor and possibly even breaking it, or even ruining your sink, you know, if you just back off a little bit on tightening on the top of the head just to get some, some movement right here. Here, I'll show you some play in the, the head of the razor. See that moving there? It kind of loosens everything up. That way when you run the hot water through it, it dislodges all the, the stuck hair. So there you go. As you can see right there, just tighten it back up, continue my shave. So if you don't know that trick, uh, use it. It helps out, especially if you're not doing your shave every two days or even every day. Um, I got kind of lazy on this one and let it grow a couple more days than I should have just so I can do this video. Um, I want to say the other part that took me a minute was just getting used to everything because of the angle. <clears throat> the angle of the razor is a little bit different than your traditional disposable razor because it, it has its own three flat blades with a, I don't know if it's an aloe stick or something that uh, helps do the pass through uh, keeping your skin smooth and uh, wet so it doesn't snag pull or anything like that so I'm just going around um, top part of this ear Some guys use sh uh, pre-shave oil, which you can do that. Uh, today I'm just doing a fast one, so this really isn't my routine routine. What I'll do is, after I wet my scalp and soften up the hair, I'll actually just wash it off real quick to get any type of uh, uh, skin flakes or dead skin, dandruff, whatever you want to call it off. That way I, I do get a closer, better shave. I don't think I'll ever go back to a disposable razor. And I just start with my neck. I go all the way around. Um, but going back to the angle, um, <laughs> I've found the hard way that, you know, on your head, you don't have much meat like you do on your face. So when shaving your bald head, you know, it's just skin and bone. So you can't press too hard because then you actually will nick your skin, which I did in the beginning and learned the hard way. So try to learn from my mistake just to be gentle. Let the weight of the uh, safety, safety razor uh, do your shape. And I want to say um, I've probably shaved with this goodness over a hundred times I would think and I can get my shave down in under five minutes which is pretty nice uh, I want to say also when I was doing my research on the straight razor or on the straight razor and the safety razor when I was leaning more towards the safety razor I come across the Merker and then the Edwin Jagger and I'm a big guy. I have big hands. And what I saw the difference of the Merker and the Edwin Jagger is the Merker, the barber pole, and again, I'll put the model number in the description below. Um, it was a fatter handle. And um, also, it just had more weight since I am a, a bigger person. So it just felt better in my hand and I, I knew it would work out, so. Why are you in here? Out. Children. I have to edit that part of the video.
but um, I think eventually um, maybe just a recreational shave in the future I might look at getting a straight razor because I mean hey guys that's traditionally where shaving started from so I think it'd be kind of neat just to actually know it or know how to do it um, so I might look in, into that just to see how it's done um, and what I also find cool about the safety razor is especially if you get a really good one not just a, a junky one that will hold, hold your razor you know this is something you can pass down to your son or, or daughter as an heirloom um, so I feel you know it actually is a good investment and uh, what's really cool is what I found out is uh, I'm kind of high maintenance when it comes to shaving my face or when I was shaving my face as you see I don't in my head that roughly uh, four pack of razors the Schick Extreme 3's are like six to eight dollars and what I found out that you know those would probably last me maybe three months so that times four you're probably looking at about thirty dollars a year that online I was looking at the feather razor bulk set that you can find on Amazon uh, I want to say it's a hundred razor blades for like $19.99 so if you do the math there on how many shaves that you can get with one single double-sided razor uh, I mean it's exponentially uh, savings out the door so um, I am going to end up doing that just because it is my favorite razor and I like saving money. So I'm taking a little bit longer because I'm talking and not really paying attention so I apologize. Just, like I said I can't do the shave in under five minutes. Which I don't know if it's been five minutes or not. done here a couple more uh, 